hello and welcome so this video follows a video i did on cross sections i'll leave the link in the description below if you haven't watched this one if you, if you haven't watched the video on my cross section so say you are asked to find or to draw a cross section from this line over here in blocks um, B2 and B3 meaning starting from here which is in block B1 to block B3 so the first thing you would need is a paper strip and with the paper strip you're gonna place it along the line and what you're gonna do next is that you will be marking um, all the contour lines which intersect um, your paper strip or which intersect the line of interest but before doing that i need to analyze um, the type of topography which i have um, that is given by my contour my contour lines so as i check this contour line here it's a contour line the height is 980 it's 980 meters and when i check my spot height it's it is um 1079 meters so when i analyze i know that if i have my contour lines closer together like this i'm anticipating a a steep or rather um, a conical hill or a steep gradient which increases from um, 980 towards um, towards the spot height there which is 1079 so this means when I draw my cross section I must expect that from this contour line or from walking from um from this point over here towards my right my right hand side i must expect an increasing slope and whereas when i go towards my right towards this contour line here i'll be i'll be decreasing in in the slope so i'm gonna put my paper strip along the line and show that it doesn't move and then start marking my my contour lines and while i mark my contour lines i'm going to label them so that i know which one is is which so i'm going to start with this one because i know it is it is labeled so this is contour line 9 980 so remember the contour interval for your topographic maps mostly which the one that we use in um, in caps is 20 meters so this means my although this one is not labeled I know that when I am going like I said I'm expecting an increasing slope towards my left so this means this one will be contour line 1 um 1000 so i'm gonna add 20 to 980 to give me 1000 so it is in it is increasing so this will be 1000 and then this one will be 20 uh, 1020 so i'm just going to label it 20 and then the following one is 40 and then this one and this one will give me 60 so this one is 60 but i know that the spot height is 1079 so this means this one over here remains 60 as well and then because it's joining with this one this is the same contour line i know this is this is 60 as well 
so i'm going to jump these ones because i can follow this one this control line this last control line i can follow it to to that side and i know that this control line is 1000 so if i mark there i know this control line is control line 1000 meters so i told you that from this control line going to my right i know that i'm increasing in in um, elevation so this means i'm going up so this makes the the, the second contour line to be 1020 so i'm just going to write 20 there which makes this one 1000 and and 40. so this is the method i use to draw my my cross sections so that i don't get lost when i have to plot my my coordinates or my my contour lines on the on the cartesian plane so since we are done because we are done we can take this and plot it to draw the cross section so let's do that so going forward what i need to do is just plot wherever um, i marked meaning I, I need to plot my coordinates on my cartesian plane so what i do normally i just follow um what my contour lines are giving me when it comes to the scale of the um of the cartesian plane and my please note that the distance between um your height remember this is height in meters it needs to be constant so you can use your ruler to accurately draw um your height or your elevation um, to be precise so when i plot this i just place my paper strip along my um my elevation and i know the first one is 980 and i move along to plot the second one which is 1000 1000 meters which is this one and this one and then moving forward to 1020 1020 will be this one in this one and then to 1040 it will be this one in this one moving right along to 1060 which is 1060 meters it will be this one and this one and also this one and that's the last of it so after here i can just connect my coordinate um to sort of get an idea but when i when i do that i know that i cannot start here because my elevation starts from zero meters so i can confident confidently start at the bottom which is zero and then follow through plotting my plotting my dots or connecting my dots and i know that at the bottom at the top i can have um i can have a flat surface so i'm gonna curve it a bit join this one and this is my overall slope which i which i have so from your concept this could be or this is a, a conical hill if you follow your geomorphology so the next thing i need to do is just label my cross section so this is this will be horizontal distance and on the side okay on the side will be my height in meters and the title of my cross section i can just say cross section from a to b 
and at the bottom I can just indicate that this is my A and this is and this is my my B so from here the examiner may ask you many questions they can ask you about the intervisibility and they can ask you to calculate um, vertical exaggeration so I covered that in my videos I'll put the link in for my previous video where I explain about intervisibility if you liked please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel until the next one